Are you tired of struggling with Linux system crash? Do you want to take your debugging skill to the next level? Look no further than KDUM. This is the ultimate tool for the Linux system crash. Crash skin is look like my skin and the solution is KDUM. Welcome to the comprehensive guide of KDUM in Linux. On this video, we will deep dive into the world of the Linux debugging and exploring the benefit of KDUM. Whether you are a beginner or you are an experienced system administrator, this guide will provide you all the information you need to master in the art of Linux debugging with KDUM. What we will cover? What is KDUM? How does KDUM work? Why KDUM is essential? Configuring the KDUM and we will crash the system and see KDUM is generating or not on the system. So friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining us today. So first we will discuss what is KDUM. So KDUM is a service or a feature of the Linux kernel that create crash dump in the event of kernel crash. So first we will see what is system crash. Whenever your system go in an unresponsive mode and reboot, that is kernel crash without any information. It just crashed without any information. Okay. To get that information before crashing or information, we need a KDUM. So KDUM is a service or a feature of Linux kernel that create crash dump in the event of kernel crash. This service enable you to save the content of the system memory for analysis. When system crash, KDUM export a memory image that can be analyzed for the purpose of debugging and determining the cause of crash. But how does KDUM work? Whenever we enable the KDUM, a secondary kernel will get installed to your system. And if in the case of system crash, primary system crash, so secondary kernel took over and take a memory image of the primary kernel. So in the event of system crash, KDUM preserves system memory by boot and the Linux kernel, which is known as a dump capture kernel. And using it, export and save a memory dump. As a result, system boot into a clean and reliable environment instead of relying on the already crashed kernel. Save the image of memory into a disk. If your standard system kernel get failed, secondary kernel will took over and the, take the image of all the processes, of all this process and all the things which is in primary memory and save into your disk. And post saving, it will reboot your system. And uh, why KDUM is essential? Because if your system is getting crashed and it's a production server and it's impacting your revenue, in that case, you need a root cause. And even though if you are logging a case with your hardware vendor or this uh, OS vendor like Reddit, they will ask you the KDUM. Because without KDUM, there is no information available on the system. System is just crashing and not writing anything on the logs. So you have to take the image of RAM, whatever it's there in a primary memory that needs to be kept changed into this. That's the purpose of KDOM. So, without wasting our time, we configure the KDOM. For KDOM, as we are seeing, is boot with the secondary kernel without rebooting. Okay, so secondary kernel also requires some memory. For that, we'll see free hyphen G. Like I'm having a 2 GB of memory. So, I can go with providing 64 MB or some MB of memory to a crashed kernel okay let's see my memory is 2 GB and RPM required for this is crap KXAC 2 okay K execute tool is already installed in my system if not there you can install it and we'll search for a file get slash etc default grub okay in this file we we'll look for the grub command in linux in this line if you see crash kernel means secondary kernel equal to auto here you can define a size of memory you want to give i am giving auto you can give uh, like uh, you can in short this you can mention crash kernel equal to 64m or 128m you can make these changes and save the file but I am not making these changes I want to go with the auto by default whatever is coming will come with that okay 
Now we'll see the configuration file of KDOM etc kdom.com. In this you will find a path variable. Path variable means when system get crash and the crash stuff is getting enabled and getting saved. It will get saved in where crash location. We have given that location. Second major option is default reboot. What is default reboot? If in case your KDOM is getting hung, it's not able to generate a report. Or K dump is also getting failed. What will happen? So I'm saying if my K dump is not working, it's not able to export the image. If it is not able to do anything, just reboot the system because I cannot say K dump is generating and keep on sitting. If K dump is not working, pre default reboot. So for this, we require service K dump of service. We'll check status of K dump service system CTL is enabled kdump.service okay enable and we'll see is active yes is enable and active it is not there you can enable and activate so memory is auto where crash path we have said default reboot and service is also running now we are good to crash the system so if you crash the system in where crash the file will get generator Currently, we are not in file. The new file will get generated with the IP and the current date timestamp. So, to crash the system, what we have to do? Echo and proc sys kernel sysrq. This thing. And second command is echo c greater than symbol. Set so proc sysrq and trigger. Before triggering this, let me go to console. This is the console. I'm logging. As soon as I hit this, go to this console. System will get reboot. See, it has generated a file. Crash dump. Let it come up. So what what is happening in the background? Before rebooting, it has captured everything, whatever in the memory, and saved into file on a where crash location with the system IP and the current date timestamp. Okay, system is coming up. This came up. Let me log in. Let me restart the session. Create screen. Uptime. Okay. So, what was the location? Where? Crash. See, one directory got created, 127, and this. We are in 2.5. VM core and VM core dmc.txt. Sometime, if your system is going reboot due to out of memory, OOM, the detail will be in this file. You can read this file. Currently, we have crashed this system manually. So this is the, these are the DMSs saving this file. You will not get any data. But if you try to read VM core, you will not get much information because there is a separate procedure to read this file. We will discuss how to analyze the VM core in our next session. But let's understand why KDOMP is required. If, if your system, production system is getting failed, and you are not knowing the nose reason multiple time is it getting failed and impacting revenue then you should know the reason why it is getting reboot after knowing this reason you can fix it correct to know that reason we need the what the process is running what was the services was running before the reboot we know that we should have the information of before reboot what was happening then only we'll come to know why system get crashed to get the detail we need a kdom okay that's the requirement of kdom Hope it is clear to you. Okay. So, what is KDump? So, KDump is a service or a feature of Linux kernel that create crash dump at the event of kernel crash. So, if main kernel is getting crash, it's booting with the secondary kernel without reboot. Okay. Secondary kernel is taking control without reboot and capturing all the information what is in memory and saving the disk. And the disk location we have defined where crash. There, one file will get generated with a IP and a date timestamp. Inside, you will get two files vm4, vm core dmss.txt. TXT file will have DMSs. Sometimes it will give you some information, but major information gets saved in vm core. And to analyze the vm core, stay tuned. I will release next video in that we will analyze that vm core. Till then, keep learning. There's a major concept you have to learn. See you in next video. Till then, bye-bye.